Where should I look? At, at the camera. At the camera. Yeah. Into here. Yeah. Okay. So we arrived in Amsterdam yesterday. We checked into Clink at about, I think at about half seven. Yes. It's very dark. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Pleasantly surprised by how beautiful this hostel is. Like, it doesn't feel like a hostel. So we have come to Amsterdam to do a mini vegan and veggie food tour and we're going to go to a mixture of like junk food, vegan places and healthy places. The first place we headed to when we arrived was Terra Zen Centre, a place that served Caribbean and Japanese food. I went for the kind of healthy fried chicken and Satan salad, <laughs> whilst G went for the fried vegan chicken and chips. The place had a really chilled out vibe. We sat on the floor wrapped in blankets and ate every last bit of our meals. We passed out, tired from a day of travel and woke up to test the veggie breakfast options at Clink. I never usually bother with hostel or hotel breakfast because they just don't cater to vegans. But they had vegan gingerbread, veggie butter, hot options, gluten free options, unlimited juice and coffee. I was impressed. We both were. We confirmed our plans for the day, eating, sightseeing, eating again, before heading out. Klink Nord is just on the other side of the river to Amsterdam Central, making it such an easy place to get to straight from Schiphol Airport. Ferries run 24 seven every five minutes in the day and every 10 minutes at night. They're usually full of cyclists. And that's one of my favorite things about this part of Amsterdam, the absence of cars. It's a city that doesn't feel too busy, even when it's busy. We had one stop before lunch, the Sex Museum, which is a lot more arty than I thought it would be. We then headed to Vegabond, deli and shop all in one. Sweets and health foods lined the shelves and fridges were stacked with vegan cheese. We did some people watching and ordered the nicest peanut butter smoothies. I don't think I've eaten quiche for a good nine years and this tofu one was incredible and huge. G ordered veggie wraps with satay sauce and she allowed me a bite. It was this perfect combination of healthy but really flavoursome. We decided we'd try and come back here on the last day to grab some snacks, as it's not far from Central Station. It is just so pretty here. So many bikes and boats and beautiful buildings. We spent the rest of the afternoon exploring Central Amsterdam, enjoying Golden Hour and the reflections in the canals before heading back across the river We caught the sunset from just outside Klink. We sat there a while, watching the sun disappear behind the buildings across the river. It was our first real wander around nighttime Amsterdam. It's just as pretty at night. There were so many lights illuminating the streets. Tonight we decided to go find some junk food. The vegan junk food bar is open till midnight, so it's the ultimate late night fast food place. It has a very new vegan era vibe to it, if that makes sense. At complete odds with the chilled out places we've been to so far. The burgers were incredible. I'm often scared by how far veggie food has come these past few years. How these cheeseburgers were actually plant-based. It's a very in-your-face place with excellent food. On our way back, we stopped by the palace, lit up for the night. It's very late. Yeah. And cold. Yes. Yeah, it's really cold. It was really beautifully warm today. And then tonight, it's ice cold. It's clear sky today. Yeah, it feels like winter.
better. But the views at night are really nice. And tired, we headed to bed. I woke up early to explore Clink Nord some more. It's a huge hostel with loads of social spaces. My favorite place being the glass ceilinged atrium. I headed to breakfast to meet G. Pretty what? Fabulously delicious. Exquisite. I hope you're saying the breakfast was exquisite for this video. Exquisite. 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 We're 15 minutes away from Alchemist Garden, which is a raw vegan place. So we took a bit of a walk here. It's about an hour from Clink Hostels, but we kind of went to different places on the way. And uh, really excited for some raw vegan food, which is well needed after our burgers last night, which were probably pretty unhealthy. So I'm ready to feel very healthy now. On the way to Alchemist Garden, we stopped by the Birkenhof, I'm sorry if I said that wrong, <laughs> enjoyed some musicians, street art, and stopped by the palace again, drawn in by a performer. I'm very excited because we've had a very long walk here. Although yeah. it's been a very, very nice walk. Alchemist Garden was exactly how I imagined it. It's a bit further out from the centre, so it's quieter. It was incredibly laid back, as low impact as you can try to be. I had raw lasagna, G had pesto courgette. It's also only five minutes from Vondel Park which we explored on the way to the Van Gogh Museum. The park in autumn was beautiful. You're actually not allowed to take photos or video in the Van Gogh Museum. It was nice. I could just relax and enjoy the art, excited to see some of my favourite pieces in person. We didn't have time to explore the Rooks Museum nearby, but wandered the gardens instead, enjoying golden hour. We should probably go get some food. We watched the sun go down and then rushed over to Candy Freaks before it closed. I'd researched this place and it was apparently the best sweet shop for veggies. We had the best customer service I have ever experienced in my whole life. We resisted eating all of our sweets and made it over to SLA for a stack salad bowl. SLA is organic health food and seems really focused on sustainability. We both got veggie bowls topped with tofu, nuts and seeds. It had a really nice relaxed feel to the place and had takeout options too. We headed on back to Clink and spent the rest of our evening enjoying the vibe of the atrium Wonderland, eating our sweets and having some solitude after a busy day. Before bed we popped into the zinc bar which was hosting one of its many solo travel events. The place was all ready and decorated for Halloween and full of energy. I would definitely come here again, as a solo traveller for sure. We slept through our last night, I watched the yoga out of my window, sad we were leaving so early I couldn't join. We said goodbye to Clink, already making plans for the next trip here.
After a quick trip back to Vagabond for plane snacks, we got a direct train from Central to the airport and headed home. Bye. I'll see you soon. Safe journey home. Bye. <laughs> really great because it's like 10 minutes from the train station. Hmm. <laughs> We're doing so well! <laughs> yeah, don't do that on camera. Is that what you just said? <laughs> uh, <laughs> what's the point of this video? <laughs> One place so far. <laughs> you can it's cut out things. Okay? Yeah, I can cut out things. But <laughs> Expression on what I'm doing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to give you guys a look into this. <laughs> 